Hello and welcome to the Voice of Todd, I'm Tom and with this video we're going to take a look at the recently announced uh, Tomb Raider sequel movie news, I guess. So this is Tomb Raider 2 with Alicia Vikander and I quite enjoyed the first Tomb Raider film with her in. I do like the reboot setting, I thought the first reboot game of the trilogy was excellent. Didn't love the second all that much, well at all to be perfectly honest. I haven't played the third. Um, but I think the film kind of linked into that feeling of of the um, the first one, and I'd be interested to see where it went. It was an it was an entertaining film. It wasn't the best, but this could be quite good. So let's get into it. Tomb Raider 2 with Alicia Vikander is on its way with Lovecraft Country's Misha Green set to write and direct the Lara Croft sequel. The movie will mark Green's featured directorial debut, having previously established herself as a creator, showrunner and director of numerous TV shows. Ben Wheatley, uh, High Rise and Rebecca, was previously attached to direct the sequel, with Amy Jump hired to write the script, after being handpicked by Vikander herself. With Green now taking on writing responsibilities, it's unclear if Jump is still involved. That is um, Misha Green there. Further casting details are yet to be revealed for the film with the project still in very early stages of development. However, if the sequel picks up from the ending of the first film, it's likely we'll see the return of Kristen Scott Thomas as Anna Miller. Vikander has even spoken about the possibility of former Lara Croft Angelina Jolie making a meta cameo. I wouldn't mind, I adore Angelina. Uh, so we'll see, we should definitely ask. That'd be quite interesting. As for the plot, we may have some idea of where the story is going if it's a direct continuation of the first film. After saving the world from a deadly virus, Lara discovered that Anna Miller, the business partner of her father, was working with Trinity, the group who caused the curse the whole time. The end of the film then sees Lara buy the iconic twin guns from the video game determined to carry on her father's work and stop Trinity. Whether the sequel will continue this thread remains to be seen, but there's now also an opportunity for Green to write a completely different Tomb Raiding adventure. The movie was originally set to release in March 19, 2021, but due to the ongoing pandemic it has been delayed indefinitely. What I want from a Tomb Raider film is tomb raiding. You can have this this wider story, you can have Trinity in there, they can be your overarching bad guy group who is just trying to make trouble in the world. But I want I want Temple of Doom intro scenes. I want Lara Croft in situations where she's she's looking for artifacts, she's doing some real tomb raiding, she's doing some detective work, maybe some puzzles. Let's just go everything that makes the video game great, that exploration. And see if we can get that in an action film. That's what I would love to see. I mean, you you can continue on from the other film, or you can just have her doing her own thing in a different part of the world. There is so much scope with a character like this, and a a world that just expands with so many different video games, so many different variations, so many fans that just love the idea of Lara Croft. I thought Vikander herself was very good as a young Lara. Uh, bringing back Angelina Jolie could be, I mean it would be crazy, but she, I'm guessing she wouldn't be playing Lara Croft, but she could be some kind of maybe a, a mentor style to her. That would be pretty cool. Uh, hell, we could even bring back uh, Daniel Craig in some form. Let's get a bit of a renew reunion going on, I don't know, I mean, Jesus. There's so much that you could do with this. I didn't watch Lovecraft Country. It didn't really grab me. Um, the other weekend I actually did watch uh, Colour Out of Space with the, the Nicolas Cage film. Absolutely loved it. I don't know Lovecraft Country's connections to that. I know it's loosely based on his writing. Um, so it'd be something I'd be interested to see if it popped up on Netflix or something. But, uh, but I, I don't know if Misha Green is as great a pick as possible. Let's take a look, shall we? Mm. 
what else has she written? I mean, I've I've heard pretty much good things about Lovecraft Country. Uh, she has also written Underground, which I've never heard of. Helix, I have heard of. Never seen. She wrote an episode of Spartacus. Okay. And an episode of Gods of the Arena. I mean, Sp Spartacus, I don't know why I'm looking. Spartacus was excellent. The writing on Spartacus was really good. I absolutely loved that series. Um, she's also written some stuff for Sons of Anarchy, which, again, I've not seen. I'm just not going around to it. But I've heard good things. So, yeah. I mean, she has... TV show-wise, she has some pretty good stock in there. Heroes as well was... Was... It was Heroes, really. Um, yeah, interesting. Very interesting. Uh, she has the pedigree to write, obviously. She's worked with some amazing writing teams. I would be very interested on a fresh perspective of the Tomb Raider take, but sign me up for this. Very interested. Uh, as I say, uh, Tomb Raider was, was a lot of fun for what it was, and I'm all up for a sequel. But if you've enjoyed this video or any of my other content, please do hit that subscribe button. Please do hit that like. Tell me what you think. Would you be interested in a second Tomb Raider film in the series? Where do you think it's going to go if you are? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.